What's going on guys? Bruce here and welcome back to the channel. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my what is up guys and welcome back to the vlog. So tonight we are pulling the engine out of the flatbed and putting getting the long block that I picked up last night installed. I've got my buddy Austin, Christian, and we've got Ryan here for moral support. The tires and wheels we picked up last night, I am gonna go ahead and get put on the truck for this weekend to give it a somewhat of a nostalgic look. So we're gonna head to Walmart, see if we can find some lug nuts, somewhere that hopefully has some lug nuts and get those put on. But while we're at Walmart, we're gonna pick up a couple cool things to make this truck just flat out blend in to the ranch truck world. So we've already got, I don't know if you can see it or not, but we ordered a uh, cowboy rope. We've got this sweet baby hanging up up here on the side of the flatbed. Should blend in. We've got our gun rack in the back window, which you can't see right now. Once we let the truck down, you'll be able to see that. You want, yeah, you can't see it right now. But anyways, Ryan and I, we're gonna head to Walmart right now and try to pick up some things while Ray Ray and Austin get the transmission ripped out of this bad boy so we can get the motor pulled out so we went to walmart that was pretty much a fail we got absolutely nothing <laughs> i don't know why the hell i thought they would have lug nuts that was stupid yeah we ryan needed some batteries for his girlfriend's key fob so we found some of those but we did pick up some sweet ass cup holders this thing does not have any cup holders because as most of you know the cup holders are built into the dash and the dash is absolutely obliterating this truck so we're gonna hang these off of the windows slash door panels so i'll at least have a place to put my beer and christian has got the transmission about snatched out of this baby looks like he's trying to ram jam an impact in somewhere it shouldn't don't belong yep we just need to beat the rock over <laughs> anyhow so i've got the nitto terror grapplers i picked up last night on well, the american racing wheels we're gonna get these slapped on here Get these tiny tires off of it. We're going to keep these just so when we do end up restoring the truck in the future, I'll have the original wheels that came on the truck. We're going to get these slapped on here for the weekend because we do plan on doing some sled pulling here in the future. So these will be perfect for it. These are like a 33 inch tire. So sit tight. We're going to get these installed. Hit it with your purse, Alice. Well, don't do oh, that. Yeah. That looks Fun. so much better. They're probably gonna rub. Hopefully not. What size are they? Three threes. What size rim? So they only got two lug <laughs> Son of a bitch. Only got one lug nut. Yeah, one lug nut. <laughs> so only got two lug nuts <laughs> per wheel for the time being, so tomorrow I can go. During normal business hours, we're going to pick up more lug nuts, but we're going to go and get two put on each wheel to get them on there so we can see how it looks. Yeah. So I can get a video posted up for you guys tonight. Mm -hmm. We're on a streak right now, posting a video a day this week. So I'm not going to let you guys down. Oh. If I can find the right tools, because Ray Ray has a problem with putting shit back where it belongs. No, no, no. That's not me, but it's you too, dear Paco. You too? Who? You So I've got the stock 245, well these are actually 235s off the truck and like I said we are going to keep these for when the full restoration of the truck does happen in the next, it'll probably be six months from now. But um, we've got these beautiful American racing wheels on it with the and it all terrains, they are a 33 inch tire and it just absolutely changes the look of the truck drastically. I know you can't hardly tell much without being far away from the truck, but this thing looks 10 times better already. Looks like a ranch truck and that is the goal to look like a factory farm truck and show up and make, you know, our goal this week on the dyno will be 800 horsepower with a little bit of spray. So it looks like we're on track for that. Try to back up here and you can see what we're looking at. We can get the thing to adjust but yeah they just look absolutely fantastic on here so i got a fat tire back here we're gonna get that baby aired up and get this engine snatched out it is burnt done ski wow. 
All right, so we have got the farm truck starter pack right here, folks. We've got my gold digger shovel, gold finder, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> We're not making a gold diggers video, but we might, you know, if we run up on a, what do you call them, a mud cricket? If we run up on a mud cricket and they see my old flatbed right here, I know they want me just from a flatbed. I'm going to hand them my flatbed digger shovel and then take off because they're out here flatbed digging so anyways we've got some old country boots we're gonna stick them in the flatbed we've got a that dang fire stick came off ray ray's old dodge and we're gonna get my new sign put on here and you can't do anything without a gosh dang yeti so we got our yeti we're gonna get it strapped down to the bed back here well i've got my antenna installed these two ain't getting much of shit done at all she's a whipping in the wind son it's gonna be whipping just like that every time we hit the gears and this bad girl she's just gonna just gonna whip right there austin ain't getting shit done we might not even make it this thing's gonna look country as shit rolling down the drag strip while somebody's pushing it or pulling it because these two ain't getting shit done so I'll pull it. next i'm gonna get my yeti installed on the back of this bad girl okay. all right so we're trying to find what are you talking about dirty up this is my hat it's mine. I left it there the other day. What's well, mine now? So everybody's been asking about buying After Hours Diesel hats. I will have them up on the website here soon. We just have to order more. And I've got to make that a priority because we've been so busy here at the shop. But anyway, so back to uh, the name. So we've been trying to come up with a name for the truck. And we've got a couple different options. So we were thinking Brahma. I don't know if anyone knows what Brahma is. But Brahma is a type of bull cow. Uh, it's very country. If you do any kind of you know country stuff or your rodeo or work cattle, anything like that, you'll know what Brahma means. Um, what was the other one you're talking about? Ranch hand, that's kind of it's kind of typical. Everybody calls something ranch hand. There's already bumpers called that. We're definitely, I am not putting a ranch hand bumper on the front of this, so don't even suggest that. I think they look so tacky. But, um, so Brahma, ranch hand, what are some other names? Bison. <laughs> We're not calling this thing bison. Come on, man. It's not fat and slow. Hmm. I don't know. So anyways, drop some ideas in the comments down below of some names for this truck. So right now it's Brahma or Ranch Hand is what's on the board. Hopefully, y'all guys will drop some pretty kick-ass names down below and we'll have a name by the time we post the video tomorrow on Friday for this thing so we can present it on Saturday at the truck event. So Ray Ray is going to suck some AC out of here. I don't think he knows what he's doing. This might be too technically advanced for Ray Ray. You know what you're doing? Nope, we're gonna see what happens. All right, so I've got this sweet ass snap on AC machine, which we use here in Florida year round because it's hot all the fucking time. So you're gonna get the AC sucked out of it, and then the engine's pretty much ready to snatch out, right? Yeah, that's yeah, pretty much it. All right, guys, so I've got the rear of this truck all decked out. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button right here on the screen and hit the like button because I know you like what you've seen. You guys are killing the views, and get, man, I'm getting a stupid amount of subscribers here lately, which I am more than ecstatic about because I love, love, love making videos, and it just shows me that everybody likes what they're seeing. So I'm going to continue doing it, and these daily vlogs are absolutely, they're a blast. It's very hard to upload every day with a business and keeping all my customers happy, with keeping all my customers happy, and also keeping all of you guys with good content. So like I was saying, we've got the flatbed all set up. We've got the cowboy boots. We've got the rodeo rope. We've got the fire stick, which I will eventually hook up a CB inside the truck. We've got our after hours diesel sign. After hours diesel Yeti cooler is back here. Yes, the gooseneck is still in the truck. And we've got our gold digger shovel back here. I did grow up rodeoing and doing team pinning. So th this isn't me just making fun of country people or the country way of life. I still very much live that way of life. I just work on diesel trucks almost 24 seven. So I don't really get to go rodeo or ride horses like I used to. Yes, I do miss it, but the diesel is the way of life I live right now. So I do have a ridiculous surprise underneath this right here, which I've been telling you guys that I am going to be putting on the truck to help with our overfueling issues and to help spool that turbo. So yes, that is exactly what you see. A freaking nitrous bottle. It, it will be hooked up. I do have the hole drilled right here in the flatbed so that we can run a nitrous line all the way to the engine. This is the nitrous kit off the drag trucks. I will be running in a fully automated, uh, I will be running a fully automated system next year on the drag truck. So 
We're going to make use of this leftover kit. I do need to get a longer line to run from back here at the flatbed to the engine because the line I have now at the drag truck only ran from the inside of the cab to the engine. So tomorrow we're going to the speed shop, Bullfrog Performance, and talk to Jeremiah and get the line we need and get the rest of the nitrous hooked up. I did have my boost pressure switch show up from Meth Solutions. <laughs> I know that sounds wild, but yes, meth solutions. I think they sell a lot of uh, LS stuff, things like that, but it's gonna work for what we wanna do, and it's adjustable from five to 20 pounds of boost, so we'll be able to set where the nitrous comes on in the boost range while we do shift down the track, so. We've got our flatbed all set up. We've got the tires on, we've got the back tire aired up, we've got all the front tire, everything's they're all aired up and set it right at 45 PSI now. Ray Ray has about got this engine ready to snatch out of here. We're gonna get it pulled out. Get the long block we picked up, get everything swapped over, get the head bolted back down, and get the studs put back in it, and get it put back in the truck, and get this thing ready to rock for Saturday morning at the Florida Truck Fest. Make sure you guys go check that out. I'll put a link in the description to their Facebook page so you can make sure you're there. Don't be afraid to walk up and say hi to us. I'm going to cut the video here. Tomorrow, Friday night's upload, you will see where we have the truck all finished, started up, and loaded up, and headed to Florida Truck Fest. So make sure you... Like I said, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and catch us in the next upload Friday evening.